Hi C cool folks welcome to a very quick tutorial where today we will talk about a few undocumented stored procedures undocumented stored procedures if you are using them you are using them at your own risk they are not documented by microsoft and of course microsoft does not recommend that you use them in production it might happen that future versions of sql server will not have them but this is something that we are hearing for many years chances are that they are going to exist for a long time because even though they are undocumented they are widely used even in production systems and just off the records they're also used by microsoft and i've seen this uh, being used internally within microsoft as well so just like you know undocumented trace flags these are not documented so of course use them with warning with this caution let's talk about four of them today and these are the popular ones the first one is sp underscore ms for each db now ms is just a prefix there all this stored procedure is trying to tell you that you want to execute a command for each database in your server so this is what it means for each db for example a very quick technique of finding out the space being consumed by each database in your server now there might be hundreds of database in your hosting environment for example so all you are doing is exec the system stored procedure this is the syntax where this question mark here means this question mark is going to be replaced by each database name so you're changing the context of the database and then you are executing another stored procedure sp underscore space used the whole idea is calling this stored procedure for every database in your server let's go and execute this and this is the expected output each database name the database size unallocated space basically this is the output of sp space used for each database in your server okay similarly the next one is sp ms for each table again you want to execute similarly another command but that should be for each table in a specific database now let's say we are in adventure works 2016 and i have a requirement of finding out the number of records for each table in the database this is a common thing that developers and dbas do quite often as to find out the total row count for each table in the database again the question mark here is going to be replaced by the table name or by the table so we say select okay we get that as the table name and then count one total records from the table again a question mark there let's go and execute this and this is going to list down all the tables in adventure works with their total number of records very handy and very tricky as well okay the next one is finding out dependencies ms dependencies this is similar to sp underscore depends but sometimes i feel this is a little more flexible because sp depends will give you two outputs like uh, the objects that depend on the target and uh, the objects on which the target depends so uh, there will be two separate results out there but i uh, what I remember last when I was using it is does not consider foreign keys here this undocumented stored procedure sp underscore ms dependencies will also consider foreign keys so if we want to find out the dependencies that are interrelated with this object sales order header as an example okay s is going to be capital there so just let's go and change that and let's go and execute this it's going to list down all the objects that depend on sales order header and vice versa so here is the list of all the objects out there very handy as well and the next and the last one for today is sp who to this is quite popular and of course all of you know sp who i just put this down so that you can compare the output of sp who to with sp who sp who to is similar to sp who but you will find that sp who to will give you few additional columns on the right side there as you can see most importantly the cpu time and disk io which is very very handy 
All right, and of course, there are alternates to all of these. There are probably better ways as well. I mean, what it, it all really depends on what you're trying to achieve. And uh, you can write better T-SQL code as well for whatever you want to do. But sometimes these undocumented stored procedures come very handy. They're very quick. Top of your mind, just go and execute and find out what you want from the server. I will try to do another one with a few more undocumented system stored procedures. But again, please use them with caution with this warning that they are undocumented, unsupported, and of course in future versions just simply might not exist. Hope you enjoyed the video. Do post a comment and see you soon in another video. And today you're not seeing me, so I'll just put this down. Happy sequel there. Goodbye. If you like the content, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon so that you're notified on new videos. Most importantly, visit sqlmaestros.com. There's a lot of SQL learning resources out there. Video courses, master classes, lab kits, ebooks, blogs, hands-on labs, and a lot more. Follow us on Twitter, at the rate SQL Maestros, and myself, A underscore Bunsel. Last but not the least, do subscribe to our newsletters. See you soon in another video. Goodbye.